What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? This is Steve. Well, we talked about how to download ROMs and install emulators. Uh, a question was brought up. Can you move your ROMs to external device? Yes, you can move the ROMs to external device. The emulators, you can't because they're actual APKs. And um, they need to be on the internal memory but ROMs are just files and they can be moved to external memory memory actually I suggest this it's, it's kind of great doing this why would you do this to preserve your external you I mean excuse me you would do this to preserve your internal memory your saved memory from your internal storage also it helps keep it clean you know it can get junky in that downloads folder on your internal folder and you could make an external folder and just keep it a whole lot neater and easier to access let me show you guys how I do that for this demonstration you're gonna need a file manager I personally use ES file explorer uh, I recommend you downloading this file manager is the best to me um, definitely if you follow me because this is the only file manager I use so definitely get ES file explorer so we're going to go to and press enter. Now we see my internal storage. We see my external storage SD card. Now I'm going to click on my external storage. First thing we want to do is create the folder. For this demonstration, we're going to do uh, Super NES, Super Nintendo. So you see where it says new at? We're going to click that plus sign. And it's going to say file and folder. We're going to select folder. Now we're going to name it. Let's name it Super NES. Okay. Okay, now we got our folder right there. Nothing in it. Empty folder. We're going to go right here. You see there, it got that little house home. We're going to press on that. We're going to go to external, internal memory, internal storage, click it. I'm going to go to my download folder. And let me show you how much junk, because mine's is junky. I need to clean my stuff out, but I'm always doing demonstrations, but I'm definitely going to get this cleaned up. Look how junky this stuff can get. It's all junk. So creating folders can help that. And it can also let you know what type of game it is. So we know this is a, I know this from memory, FMC, that this is a Super NES ROM. We're gonna long press it. Now all these options will come available. I'm gonna click more. Move to. And you see that where I got the arrow? I'm gonna push back. Once I push back, I'm going to select my external storage, which is right here. And I'm going to go to what we named that, Super NES. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to press OK. It's going to move it. Move successfully. We can click that home again and go to the external storage and check it. It's right here. You can access, access, blah, 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 access your game, your ROM, from actually here. Click on it, and I can just load it from my emulator right there. If you load it straight from the emulator, you can just do this. Go to that SNES 9X EX Plus emulator for your Super NES ROMs. Whoops. Sorry about that. <laughs> Exit, really? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Go to load game. I want to go back to the... This is how it will look when you go to load your game. So, you will go all the way down to storage. Your external storage will be the first one, usually. 
we're gonna go to what we named the ROM. <clears throat> Turn this volume down. We're gonna click SNES and look. Now all my SNES games can go in that external fold folder and I know exactly how to access all of them. And I won't have to look through this, look through that. It'll be one in one spot for me. Click it. Show you that it works. Worked. Guys, have a great night. This is Steve. Don't forget to subscribe, like my videos. Gonna keep them coming as much as I can help you. Have a good night.